Hi guys, Rob 46 and welcome yourselves back to MotoGP 23 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. We've only got a few races left to go. We're only eight points behind Arbolino in the championship, but we go to Phillip Island next. Now, in Moto3, this uh, wasn't a good race. Um, obviously, tyres wear out very, very quickly around here, but the AI was super fast. We qualified badly. Um, and we ended up outside the points. So let's see what happens in Moto2. Dry qualifying, dry race. Right, out we go then. It was out the final corner we were losing a hell of a lot of time in Moto3. Um, obviously, fueling is probably going to be an issue. But we'll see what happens. I've got soft tyres on at the moment. Obviously, I'm not going to use soft tyres in the race. That would be a suicide mission. Okay. So we are underway. Twenty-one three through this first sector through Stoner Corner. We were good on the brakes into here in Moto Three. I mean, to be honest, in Moto Three that was basically where we were making up all of our time on the brakes. I'm not expecting to win around here or we'll get anywhere near. It would be nice if we could beat Arbolino, but. I think that's just going to be one of those things we're maybe going to have to do damage limitation here. So that for the last few races, he uh, doesn't have too big a gap. I mean, compared to Fodge up, our run out the final corner was actually alright. And we got Slipstream now as well. We both hit the wall. Hitting the rev limiter there. See if we can go a little bit quicker. A little bit quicker at the moment, so 30.8 is the time we have done. Now we're not going to get any slipstream here, although we are catching, I think that's no zany. Going to half a second quicker than my previous lap. Okay, I don't know why we're six and a half seconds quicker. So do go pole by three and a half seconds, which is a bit weird. But we are through to Q2. Right, so Q2, I am going to stick with the softs. Um, okay, see what we can do. Are they going to be a little bit closer time-wise? I expect they will be. I'm expecting them to be. See what kind of lap time we can do. The annoying thing is I do... I really like Phillip Island. However, 
AI around here, well in Moto 3 anyway, they were very good around here. Too good in fact. Especially when the tyres went off. Wrong into turn 10, but I hate that corner anyway. Can't tell if we're catching. I think that's my teammate, Bo Ben Snyder, on track. Can't tell if we're catching him or not. 29 8. That should be. Wow, that's definitely the quickest I've been so far. So. 1.8 quicker still, so they were a bit quicker, but not a huge amount. Okay, let's go to the race. Right, time to go. We need the medium front, the hard rear. See what we can do then. Soft fronts for everyone else on the front two rows. But we are going to need that medium front. Okay, we are away. It's already telling me that our fuel is critical, which is not ideal considering we've literally just started the race. Come wide, try and bring it back. Oh, that was close. Abelino trying to go around the outside, surely that's not going to work. Not through stoners anyway. Way too wide at Miller's. You can't expect me to knock it down to power map in one, surely. Shut up. If I knock it down to power map in one, we're going to get swamped. Okay, Costa's got ahead of Arbolino. We're going to lose out on the straight, aren't we? It's one second at the moment. Okay, it stopped beeping now. It stopped flashing red. Arbolino's got Acosta back. Obviously I haven't had much, well, any practice with these tyres, so we're just going to have to keep going and hope that it's going to be okay. Costa back in front of Arbolino. Yeah, that's why I need them two to fight. Hold each other up. Thank you. 
Wow, we've lost a lot of time in that final corner. Although we've got one and a half second lead, it is not a big gap. Because once tyres start going off, for me anyway, that is when the AI kick it up a gear. And that is when we're going to start struggling. So I'm trying to save as much fuel as possible. I'm going to have to start using power map and three on the straight, I think. make any mistakes into turn 10 that's gonna be a big ask but I will try okay power map in three at the end of this lap look how much fuel we lose just using power map in three for the final corner and the straight not ideal. Now we're going to have to spend about three laps trying to build that back up again, that fuel. Oh, but Arenas has got in front of Arbolino as well. We could, if we play our cards right, take the championship lead here at the end of this race. Obviously, I was in the 29s in qualifying. We're not going to be able to hit that lap time because we're not going to be able to use Pam Appen 3 for the whole lap. The amount of time we're gaining through turn 10 now is coming down. We were gaining quite an advantage through there, but not anymore. So we've got a nice lead at the moment. That was a 31. I think that was my first 31. Maybe not. My second 31 of the race. Okay, our Bellino has got through on a Costa. My rear tyre is starting to move around. We're on lap 5 of 9. Still got a way to go. This could be the start of the turning point. So I'll move around a bit now. Live championship coming up. We would lead the championship by one single point if it finishes as it is. I don't want to think about that at the moment. Because my tyres, they're starting to go. Considering they've got soft front tyres in, it makes you wonder how the hell... Well, I know how it's not affecting them, because tyre wear does not affect them, but... The soft front... Oh! Oh dear. He touched the grass. That sent me very wide. That's lost us a load of time. Alright, let's just concentrate now. Not. 
That is not good. A crash. Literally, as I say, let's concentrate. Okay. Now let's concentrate. I'm not going to speak now for the rest of the race. See if we can catch back up with Acosta. We can still win this. We can still win this. Acosta seems to have dropped his pace. In fact, they all seem to have dropped their pace. Arbelino has dropped behind the rain ass again. about it but not this tool maybe on the exit he's got the inside for the next corner though is he gonna go wide slipstream now though we're gonna get him okay we're back into the lead with two laps ago i can't believe we've crashed I managed to uh, get back into the lead. He had over a two second lead on me. Made up 0.6 of a second just through Miller's there. But he's closing me back down. It's almost like once he got into the lead, his pace dropped. Avelino still in fourth, but uh, Aldeguer's got in front of him now. Tires are moving around a hell of a lot. Abelino back up to third. Not what we want. This is it. Final lap. Come on. Don't let him get back through. He's close still.
Oh, he's close. No heroics into turn 10. My power map in three on the run to the line. He is closing, but it's not going to be enough. We win at Phillip Island. Despite crashing, remounting, Arbolino in third. Whoo! Nearly threw that one away. Nearly threw that away. Only person in the 30s, eh? Fastest lap. Okay. Championship, we lead by one point now. <laughs> Team Championship still third. That's not going to change. Alright, Park Ferme, top step of the podium. Was not expecting that at Phillip Island. Really thought I'd thrown that one away as well. But I didn't realise how big the gap had grown behind Acosta to Arbolino as well. So when we remounted, that gap was like over two seconds still. So Arbolino really dropped back from Acosta. But yeah, Acosta's pace towards the end was uh, pretty good. I thought he was going to have a go on the last lap. But um, luckily, just managed to hold him off. Okay. Job done. Arbolino, got to be. So yeah, we lead the championship by a single point. Okay, finish in front of Arbolino in the standings. Well, I will try. What's Ben Schneider saying? Robo46 is producing some good performances. The whole team are working together well and we're on track for all our objectives for this season. We just have to keep it up. We certainly do. Keep Bo Ben Schneider happy, even though, you know, he could potentially mess me up in qualifying. So yeah, we go to uh, Chang next time. Looks like it's going to be dry, which is good. We've got Sepang, Qatar, and then the finale at Valencia. Right, standings for all three categories. Moto3, David Alonso leads the way now from Kaito Tober in second place, who's joint on points with Munoz in third. Uh, Falon is fourth and Rueda is fifth. So top seven as Ana Carrasco goes up to seventh place. Top seven separated by 25 points. Moto2. We have just taken the lead in the championship by a single point from Arbolino in second. Acosta is third, Lopez fourth, Arenas in fifth. So, a few people out of the runnings now. Acosta is chipping away at Arbolino, but he's still got 35 points to try and find, which is going to be quite difficult with not many races remaining. MotoGP, Quattararo leads the way, 21 points over Marquez in second. Alicia Spargo is up one position to fourth. Zarco drops down one position to fourth. And uh, Nakagami is up three places to fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more, for more content. We'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch, and look after yourself. See you guys next time. See you!